Welcome back, Carpo Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? I'm trying not to shake you guys around too much on the camera here. Got another Wild Devil Drain Collector's Booster Box. We're going to bust open and break out all 12 packs and hope we get some confetti anime goodness. Um, we, we've done pretty good with it. Uh, this will be box number four. So we've only opened three boxes. And we've got two confettis. So we're doing pretty decent. So hopefully we'll even break ahead of the curve on this one and get, get another one. But probably not. Um, this is from the same case and the next box in the case from the one I opened last time that had the confetti foil in it. So odds of finding two confetti foils and two adjacent boxes in a case, probably not that good. I don't know. Um, how many confettis are in a case? Do we know yet? Has anybody figured that out? Have we determined some kind of ration or number or whatever? Uh, let me know if you guys know on the let me know in the comments because I'd I love to hear if we have figured out how common the confettis are yet. So, good packs. Uh, good looking packs. Got the gingerbread girl with the angry scowl here and the, the fork uh, coming after you. Uh, these should be made in Japan, I believe, because they are pull tabs. Yep, made in Japan. Japan. That's not how you spell it. Oh, that's another language. There, made in Japan. Oh. All right, so we got the pull tabs, <laughs> Japanese. Usually the Japanese printings are a lot better, but this time around, the Japanese cards, uh, I noticed it on the last set too. Japanese cards seem to be worse quality. The, the foiling is not that good this time around on the Japanese cards. We got a treasure and food token. We start off with our favorite little raging battle mouse. He's cute. And a sneak attack, there we go. That's a nice little hit. And then Baluna Grand Squall for another Mythic. Two Mythics back to back. Not a bad way to start. Oxidrover. And Sentinel of Lost Lords. He just looks faded and kind of bland. Anyway. Vampiric Grites and Dragon Mantle. And then our Mountain. And then our Commons and Uncommons that nobody cares about. Ah, Ginger Brute. Love that guy. He's so much fun. Turn one. Ping. <laughs> And continually ping until you pop them with a shock because I'm going to make sure you can't block them every turn. That's fun. All right. Food and Nightmare. We got a Restless Vine Stock. Rest in Peace. Restless Fortress. What, what's going on here? We're getting a lot of lands here. Thunder's Debut. Did, did not have a Thunder's Debut. Italian's Messenger. Compulsion and Intangible Virtue. Okay. So that pack was. Not as good as the first pack. Not even in the same ballpark. All right. Let's see if pack number three picks it back up. Food and Mouse. Intruder Alarm. Great rare. Love that card. Uh, that was a big staple on my old Elf Ball deck way back in the day when we uh, <laughs> we had to use Intruder Alarm to untap all our, all our mana dorks whenever an elf came into play and then tap them again, and then untap them, and then tap them again, so that was a staple for, for me back then, but now it seems like elf decks don't even need that anymore. Uh, Oversold Cemetery, Cruel Somnophage, Court of Ardenvale, and Fawn's Bane Troll, and Utopia Sprawl, times two, okay, foil and non-foil in the extended art, okay, interesting. Swamp, and there we go. So Intruder Alarm and Utopia Sprawl are our best cards in that pack. Uh, I don't know if Intruder Alarm is still worth much because I reprinted it a few times now. Food and Rat, and it's not needed as much as it used to be. The Iron Crag, Land Tax, hey, hey, there we go, with the anime artwork. That's pretty nice. Not a bad little hit. The Sneak Attack was not anime. Not anime. Bummer. Devouring Sugar Maw, Misleading Signpost, and Restless Spire for yet another one of the rare lands. Gobble Bombardment, and a Raid Bombardment, and Intangible Virtue. Not Gobble Bombardment, that one's a rare. Alright. Okay, pack number five. We've been kind of up and down. Let's see if this one goes back up or not. Food and Nightmare, Tangled Colony, Leyline of Sanctity. Rowan for another mythic. Uh, Nettling Nuisance. And the Bunnycorn. The Bunnycorn was the most valuable rare when the set came out, but I, don't, I think that's kind of fallen down now. Druk's Uprising and a Season of Growth. Both good cards. Oh, uh oh, what happened? Oh, God. 
Oh God, piles are getting crazy. Piles are getting crazy. Piles going wild. All right, here we go. <laughs> Last pack of stack number one. Halfway through the box. We only got two regular mythics. Food and treasure. Phyrexian Unlife. Leyline of Lightning. Restless Bivouac. Elevir. Like a wild court for, you know, got to have 10 commander cards in every single set. Sir Ginger the Meal Ender. <laughs> 10 is... 10 is not quite it. More like 50. Uh, spreading Seas and Impact Tremors and a Forest. Every set doesn't have to be a commander set. Just saying. We can have a set that concentrates on maybe another format. I don't know. I mean, probably not Modern, because Modern Horizons 2 just completely <laughs> destroyed that format in a good way. Uh, food and Human. We're going to Ley line of Abundance. We're getting all the Ley Lines. Hey, Ristic Study with the anime artwork. That's a nice little Mythic pull. Not the Confetti Foil, unfortunately. Uh, virtue of Courage. Great. These Virtue cards are awesome. I'm really liking the Virtue cards. Court of Embrith. Food Fight. That one I want to build a deck around just because it looks like fun. Uh, Gryphonary. Spreading Seas again. Swamp. And there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to build a food fight deck just because it looks like a lot of fun. All right. Moving right along here. We got a food treasure. We got the same mythic that we started off with, the Balloon of Ground Squall. And I, <laughs> this is the first time I pulled that mythic and I pulled two of them in the same box. Very weird. Primal Vigor. Questing Druid. Feral Encounter. Gruff Triplets. Holy green pack. What is going on here? Well, if that was a draft or sealed pack, and we were running green, we'd be we'd be stoked. All right, so four green rares in a row. <laughs> That's goofy. All right, Impact Tremors, Stab Wound, Forest. Hey, a forest to go along to cast all those green guards. And, of course, our first uncommon to green. And we got a green common. That was a green pack. Green with envy of the other packs that we opened. <laughs> oh, hey, don't get in the box. All right, try not to ding up the mythics if we could. Uh, food treasure token, spiteful hex mage, very very dark. Uh, fraying sanity, heart flame duelist, expel the interlopers, and ingenious prodigy. Season of growth and Garus uprising, and a plains. Okay, that was not the strongest pack of the box. Full show. Let's hope this pack goes back up again. Because it has been like feast or famine in this box. The packs have been great or terrible. Food, human. Red Cap Gutter Dweller. Force Fruition. Twinning Twins doing some twinning. Giant Inheritance. Word to Courage to pull it out at the very end and make it not a complete dumpster fire pack. Raven Bombardment Compulsion. Allen. Alright. If it wasn't for that virtue, that pack would have been awful i think i don't know i don't i don't actually know what's going on here but according to the price lists <laughs> which is the only thing i can base my opinions on considering i haven't played <laughs> in like a month or two uh rat and food token prismatic omen aggravated assault i like that card i, I like the double attack phase a lot of people don't care for it fallen shield hair sir ginger again Devouring Sugar Maw. Wow. Okay. And Dark Tulage and Ground Seal. That pack uh, also not very exciting. We got one pack left. Come on. Now we've had a good box. Not saying we haven't had a good box. Hasn't been an amazing box, but it's been pretty good. We got a Rhystic Tutor and a Land Tag. A Rhystic Study and a Land Tag. Both anime and a Sneak Attack. So good box, but we need that last little bit. Let's give it to us. Food and a Human Token. Twinning Twins, Twinning for the Twinning Twins of the Twinning Twins that we just twinned, because that's a double tap. Mana Flare, great card. Also a Dread Knight, Ingenious Prodigy, Imodine, and ouch. Okay. Forced, and we're done. Okay. So, <laughs> we got some good rares in there. Um, we did get three really good Mythics on the enchantments. We got Sneak Attack, and then we got Anime Land Tax and Anime Ristic Study. Not bad at all. And then we got two Virtues of cor Courage, 
two Balunas and an Elevere and a Rowan. So technically we only got four different Mythics <laughs> in the standard set uh, because we got two double taps on Mythics, which is not the way a box should work. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of goofy, isn't it? All right. Maybe it's just me. So overall, we got nine Mythics. Not terrible. And a few of them are pretty good, so not complaining at all. I think it was a good box. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the description below. A lot of good links down there to save you money, get cash back on all your purchases. Help you out, help the channel out, so it's a win-win for everybody. So click some of those links. I truly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate you being here. Hopefully you like the videos and you keep coming back, and I'll keep trying to get the videos better and better and better. So thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.